What's going on, YouTube? This your boy Jay Quill. I'll talk live with another reaction video. This video is about Tasha K, Brother Zion, Lex talks about polite Sanetta problems in the house of consciousness. And um, just sit back and listen to what's going on right now and tell me what y'all think. You know, drop a comment down in the comment section and um, we're going to keep it pushing. All right, so. Before. As a, as a father of 16-year-old twin daughters, to hear a grown man uh, come out with, with such serious charges, and the only thing that he will speak towards is the charges are negative and doesn't feel the sense of letting at least his followers know, I can't go into the details of the case, but what I will say is I am not guilty. I am innocent. Right. You have, everyone knows, it is within his full legal right to at least say that. He doesn't have to say anything else, but he could have at least said that. Instead, he says, you can't cancel me. I don't work for the machine. So everyone who's talking about, I'm going to get canceled because of the charges, I cannot be canceled because unlike you guys, I am the machine. I don't work for the machine. So it's the arrogance. It's the bravado. It's the blatant unconsciousness the same characteristic that we've been seeing time and time again from many leaders that have let us down in the past right so he's just the latest one and then his cohort which is what I'm, i have to call him because if you can't stand as a man with a backbone and tasha if this wasn't your show i'd say it the way i want to say you should say it, so it. Nice. you know you should say it right if you don't got the fortitude as a man and the backbone to stand for what's right Brother Sarnetta is almost 60 years old. You know, you are what we call in the streets. You're the big homie. You well, know? not, not, not as, um, I, I mean, I've seen his past and his, and his, and his, mm -hmm. and his like, I guess his, um, his records. And I mean, I, I feel that because he was addicted to crack mm -hmm. for so, yeah. did you know that? I didn't know that. That's a revelation. I didn't hear Yeah, I got the receipt. No, I got the receipts. Crack, mm. cocaine. Mm. Okay. He mm. came up during the time when crack was very popular. And um, I feel that it's taken a toll on him mentally. Mm. And when mm. I see someone his age on the internet, like engaging in straight up buffoonery. Mm. And you would call up a man that you know that has a history of doing this to try and deviate from what was really up. That that's 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 really that's that's uncomfortable for me. I totally agree. And people are following a crackhead because he still acts as My if He's a crackhead. If you watch his show, it's going to make sense. It makes sense to me now. <laughs> you, see, you see it now. You, you, even his mannerisms, the, the, the jerking, the ticking, the, the all off the wall, like the trying to, you know, trying to catch something. And then, whoops, I need to sit my ass down. I'm a little too fast. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, giving, it's giving very much lingering side effects from the 20 plus years of smoking crack. Now that is not allegedly, I have that own, like I said, we have the police, you know, his his criminal background. Cause he got locked up every time he was caught smoking. Mm. Yeah. Well, he, he, he tried to, he tried to do damage control ahead of you because he did say that he was aware that people are now gonna try to pry into his past. And he said, the only thing that they're going to find is that I went to jail for selling drugs. No, he, he went to jail for selling drugs one time. The rest was mm. smoking crack. Mm. Well, it makes sense now. <laughs> makes sense now. Okay. And I, I put that out. Like, like I said, I told you I was not playing with these niggas. I was not playing with them. I'm not. Mm. Because it's mm. been going on for too fucking long. And, and especially the way our people have been like you know, kind of fucked up over the years and to see people just deliberately, you know, just take advantage. It's it's over. And like I said, I wasn't trying to be funny, but I was trying to be funny. Like I said, they said the black woman is God, right? That's what they said, right? right. right. You believe the black woman right. is God? 
I believe that we both come together to form the divine image. That's okay, I'm so that, but you know these the whole time niggas say that the black woman is God. So that's why I kind of gave that sarcastic redemption right. of. Right. Okay, since you say the black woman is God, but yet y'all out here raping the black woman, and we're gonna talk about that mm. in a minute. You out here, you know, using them for their money, taking advantage of them. You're not taking care of them because, like I said, all those so-called wives, that was literally a a figure of speech to make women feel as if weak women, gullible women, right. to feel That's as right. if they belong. But yeah, he was not setting up households. All right, now YouTube, we about it here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to come back to you with more videos. J. Quill All Talk Live. We out of here. One love. Salute. Take care of yourself and protect the babies. We out of here.